All right, uh, what's going on, Dragon Ball Legend? It's you. Uh, this is a response to your video, obviously. But um, I wanted to say, for those who do watch, go to my channel, watch my response to Glock Ninja video, and you'll see some of my gripes with Linux and some of the issues I see. Now, I am not saying Linux is the perfect OS because it is not. No operating system, even Mac OS X is not perfect. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I hate OS X's feature where Quicking X closes some applications and just essentially closes the window. That's really annoying. If I tell it to close, I don't want it just to close the window, I want it to close the process. Now yes, Command Q closes or quits the application. But most people don't use that because people who are coming from Windows, the majority of the time, to OS X. So they're going to automatically think their program is closed. They're not going to know all the intricate nuances of OS X. That is my one of my gripes with OS X. Linux, um, the community, is its own worst enemy sometimes. Stupid flame wars between... My distro can beat up your Linux distro and all this other crap. Who cares? Because what those fights basically end up boiling down to is Linux users will recommend the distribution they use. And not take into account that a user's technical ability or a user's needs at the end of the day. If they're looking for a general OS, maybe something that is GUI-fied, GUI, is probably what they're going to want. And most of you Linux users aren't going to do that. Simple fact of the matter. Because we have people like Carla Schroeder from the Linux Foundation who asked if we're making computers too stupid. Computer users too stupid. Are they, do they even deserve the right to use computers, basically? And to Carla Schroeder and the people of like mine, I say shut the fuck up. People just want stuff that works. End of the day. Most people aren't going to know how to rebuild their engine in their car. Why, did, why should you expect that out of an end user for a computer? That's my point. Now, on to Dragon Ball Jinjutsu and some of your issues with Linux. Um, I say they're reasonable but not all of them. I'm sorry. I've installed and reinstalled and installed and reinstalled XP so many times along with Vista that did blatantly come out and say that until Linux works 100% out of the box and you can have a completely working system is not realistic. No operating system is 100% perfect. No operating system. The only reason OS X can work the way it does is because Apple controls the SKU so the hardware is limited to the disk. It's quite simple. As far as other things such as installing Windows. How many times have you installed Windows and say on a laptop where XP has a really hard time recognizing those Ethernet ports? and the wireless card that's attached. Well, how are you going to download the drivers if you don't have the CD? Because most people tend to lose those motherboard slash reinstall CDs pretty often. Uh, you're pretty much shit out of luck unless you have a wireless USB adapter floating around or a PCI slot card floating around. It's the only way you're going to get it. Not everyone has those. So, why do you expect that out of Linux is my question. Why expect that out of the, any operating system? I reinstall Windows knowing that I'm going to have to download drivers or reinstall drivers. And it's going to be a time consuming and a pain in the ass process. To me though, when I, I'm running a AMD Tricore 720 and it recognizes all three of my processors, it recognizes my 4 gigs of RAM, my Ethernet port worked out of the box. Oh, even install my graphics card drivers right out of the box for the most part. You know, all I had to do was 
restrict the driver's menus and double click it. That's all I had to do. Now when something doesn't work, yes, it's a pain in the ass and I won't deny that. The fact of the matter though is be realistic with what you're looking for because no operating system is going to ever provide a 100% secure out of the box performance that you expect. Same with OS X, Windows, or Linux, BSD, and so on and so forth. This goes to Dragon Ball, this goes to anybody within the Linux community, the Windows community, and the OS X community. No OS is perfect. There will never be a perfect OS. Every OS is hackable, every OS is insecure in some way, shape, or form. The only thing that matters is does it work for you end of story